Swoon, A Poetics of Passing Out. The book emerged from my long and probably quite unhealthy interest in fainting, passing out, depictions of unconsciousness and their importance to literary history. And it begins with the heart-stopped transformations that we find in the literature of the late medieval period. Um, it moves through some Shakespearean swoons. It thinks about the avalanche of swoons uh, that we find in sentimental literature and, and novels of the 18th century. Um, and it ends up um, looking at vampiric swoons and the idea of dark ecology and some contemporary um, romantic fiction swoons alongside some lovesick lesbian swoons. So this is how it begins. As a teenager, it was a great disappointment to me that I had never swooned. There had been ample opportunities. We organised games in the school toilets that involved rounds of hyperventilation. We told each other terrifying stories late at night, hoping to drive each other hysterical and faint with fear. At a religious festival, I linked hands with other girls and swayed, hoping to be slain in the spirit. The desire to swoon was partly born, I think, from a desire to change the genre of my adolescence, from the hope that what was playing out as sometimes gritty, mostly dull, kitchen sink realism might become more heightened, more mystical, more erotic, rapturous even. In my adolescent mind, the swoon was a means of transportation and transformation, which would function as it does in many works of literature, film and art, as a rapturous climax of the most intense forms of experience. The swoon promises ecstasy, spiritual, aesthetic and erotic. This is the poetics of passing out.